Hey, RCA Church family, it's Pastor Kevin. I hope you guys are doing well today. I hope your week is off to a great start. And I just want to share, uh, take a few minutes of your time and share with you some things that are coming up this week at RCA, but also share with you a little bit about what the Holy Spirit has been speaking to me about over the last week or so. Hey, do you remember back before COVID-19 hit and uh, we used to like get people together like for dinner at our houses or have like a cookout on a Saturday? Like you would actually invite people over to your home and get together and do some fun things, right? Do you remember? I know it seems like a long, long time ago, but you remember when you used to do that? Jody and I were just talking about that the other day and, and we can't wait to get through this season so we can begin to have people back over and and just enjoy being around each other. But it got me thinking about that whole process of preparing for company. And I don't know what it looked like at your house, but for me and Jody, what would happen is when we would have something on the calendar, some, somebody was going to come over for dinner or maybe some fun on a Saturday. Uh, a couple of days before that, Jody would begin to make preparations. She would begin to get ready. And, and of course, as a good husband, I would try to jump in and help where I could. And, and that would involve doing things like dusting uh, the counters and furniture and picture frames and vacuuming and not just vacuuming in the interest way, but like all over the house and straightening up. I'm one of these people that, you know, I kind of use the organized pile system, you know, on my desk and I'll have a pile of papers here and a pile of papers here. Now they're organized. I know what's in them, but you know, I, I kind of spread out and, and a few days before you guys come over, I would, I would be told, hey, all that's got to be cleaned up. So I'd have to go through and get all my papers and clean them up and put them away. And, you know, just getting the house ready for company, making sure all the dishes are, are put away and the beds are straightened up. I'm like, honey, who's going to go in the bedroom? She's like, just make the bed up. Just trust me. So you guys have felt my pain. You know what I'm talking about. And, and it was fun. It's always fun to have people over and to have company over. And it just seems like it's been too long since that's happened, but the Holy Spirit whispered something into my heart last week as I was reading in John chapter 1 and, and about the ministry of John the Baptist and how John prepared the way for the Lord. Let's, let's go to the scripture. It says in John chapter 123, and John is just answering questions about his ministry and who he is to some of those that were asking, and he makes this statement. He says, I am the voice of one calling in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord. And I don't know about you, but but during this season, haven't you just kind of felt that way? You know, like, gosh, we're just kind of crying out in the in the wilderness. It's the desert. It's like, is anybody listening? Is anybody here? Does, does anybody care? And I know that we've almost felt like, gosh, we just don't feel like we can do anything during this season for God or for the church or for each other. And it's just been a challenging time. Listen, I just want you to know, just like John was in a desert and you're like, well, who's listening to John in the desert? He had a great impact on preparing the way for the Lord. And you may feel like you're in a season of, of desert or isolation right now, but the things that you do can still have great impact for, for the Lord. And, and what John did is he made straight or he cleared the way or he basically made preparations for the beginning of Jesus' ministry. And here's what I felt the Holy Spirit say to me last week. He said, Kevin, get ready. He said, Kevin, make preparations because I want to come and I want to visit. I, I'll, I'm, I'm coming again and I'm coming soon. Now, when I say that, let me clarify because I think a lot of times we hear people in church say that and we think, oh, yes, of course, we know the Lord is coming again one day. We know there's going to be, as the Bible says, the, the, the great day of the Lord and, and God's going to come and he's going to, you know, rescue and he's going to judge and he's going to do all these kind of end time things. Yes, of course, I'm talking about that, you know, or, or we're going to pass away and we're going to meet the Lord. And yeah, I just want to tell you, as surely as, as the sun rose this morning, there's going to come a time in your life where either A, you're going to die and stand before the Lord, or B, you're going to be alive and the Lord is going to return. That great day of the Lord is going to happen. But just for a moment, I'm not, when I say the Lord wants to visit, the Lord wants to return, I'm, I'm not talking about either one of those, although both, of the, uh, both are going to happen. I'm talking about the fact that God wants to visit his church in, in grace and in truth, that God wants to, to give us a visitation of the Holy Spirit with power and authority. Church, I, I get goosebumps thinking about that. I have a real sense. Listen, God's not done with the church in America. God's not done with you and with me. God's not done with RCA. God's, God is at work. And I know it's hard to see him in, in the circumstances of COVID-19 and racism and all and unemployment and all the challenges that we face. But listen, trust me, church, as surely as I'm before you today, 
the Lord spoke and he said, prepare. He said, get ready because I want to visit my people with grace and truth and with power and authority. And so I don't know about you, but I'm making some changes in my life. I want to be ready for the visitation of the Lord, for the Holy Spirit when he comes. And, and that's my question today to you is if, if you knew you were going to have company this Friday evening at your house, guests were coming, the invitations were sent, what would you begin to do? How would you begin to prepare? And more than that, if you knew that the Holy Spirit was going to show up in your life this coming weekend, what would you need to do? What would you need to begin to change? What would you need to begin to work on? What different choices would you begin to make right now in honor of him because you you want when he shows up you want to be ready church i want to tell you it's time to start making those preparations because the lord has planned a visit and he wants to come so so what would it look like what needs to change church what how do you need to prepare in your devotional life how does that look how does your praise look how does your how does your worship look how does your bible reading Look, how does that relationship, your personal relationship, not what I feed you on Sundays, but what does it look like in your own life? What does your family life look? What does your home life look like during this season? What does what your witness to other people that don't know Christ look like? These are questions that we need to wrestle with and, and, and we need to ask the Holy Spirit to help us with because we need to be making preparations for his visit, church. He's coming. And, and I'm going to be ready, and I hope you'll be ready with me. Let's, I, I just challenge you and encourage you to think about that this week, that the Lord wants to come. He wants to be your guest in your home, in your life, in your decisions, in your future. What preparations do you need to make so that when he appears at the door, he can come in and he'll feel welcome? He won't feel uncomfortable. He won't feel like, well, gosh, they haven't prepared you won't look or you won't have to feel any any um, any conviction or condemnation or guilt in that moment. You'll be able to open the door wide and say, Oh Lord, I'm so glad you're here. I've been expecting you. Come on in. Church, he wants to visit. Let's make preparations. You know, a way that we can do that is coming up this this week. In fact, tomorrow evening at 7 p.m., we're having prayer. This is a season that I have called our RCA Church family to prayer, 7 p.m. on Zoom. We've been talking about this for weeks. Listen, it's time for you to join. It's time for you to join in into prayer. Uh, it's one click. It's not hard. The, the invite goes out on the e-blast that is in your inbox right now. Check it. It's there. Uh, and, and all you have to do is click on it and you can join our meeting tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. If you don't receive our e-blast and you want to be included, just email us, info at rcachurch.org. Also, lots of other great things happening tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Scott's meeting with the youth. Then Thursday night at 7 p.m. with the young adults. Friday night, Jimmy's going to be meeting with the Spanish at 7. Saturday morning, Pastor Jeanette with our, with our kids for Kids Church at 11 a.m., and then, of course, Sunday morning at 9 a.m., our Sunday Connect classes. And listen, Sunday, we want you to be here with us, either online or in person at 9 a.m. or at 1030. Choose a service and plug in and, and come on out and be a part. If you're ready to return, preparations have been made, and we're ready for you. And uh, we have a touchless service. It's very safe. It's very clean. But you're going to be touched by the Holy Spirit. And you know what? I just dare you. I dare you. To show up this coming Sunday. I believe the Lord will touch you and encourage you and help you. Beyond that, church, just remember, reach out. Be salt and light to somebody around you. Realize that you're a digital evangelist during this season. Invite somebody to church with you in person or tell them about uh, our services online and encourage them to be there with you. You can make a difference during this season. Don't feel like you can't. You can. Um, and, and remember to, to, to like us on Facebook, to share our post, and to subscribe on YouTube. But RC family, as, as always, we love you. We're praying for you. God's peace, God's protection, God's provision. In the name of Jesus, be yours. We look forward to seeing you soon. God bless.